Now that our needle is ready to go with a piece of yarn, I've got the loom positioned back. And this is where if you have a ruler, you can take the ruler and slide it underneath all of your warp string and then turn it up on its side. And that will make it slightly easier for you to see um, your strings and to get your needle in and out. If you don't have a ruler, you don't have to do this. You'll just have to kind of lift your strings up by hand. So the basic pattern for weaving, and you probably remember this from in the past from weaving paper, is to go over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. So I am going to take my yarn and my needle, and I'm going to start, and you could also start with under, over, it doesn't matter, as long as you're following that pattern, over, under, under, over, whichever one you choose. So I'm gonna start with over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. And my needle's shorter than the length of this, so I'm gonna grab it with my other hand. So I'm un over, under, over. Next is under, over, under. And you can see that my um, ruler wasn't really agreeing with me. So if that is, if you try that and it is popping down or annoying you, you don't have to use it. It's your choice. So I am going to now take my needle and pull it Uh oh, I've got a little bit of a knot here. I'm gonna move that out. And you're just gonna pull, 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 pull. And I want you to leave like a small tail on the end. And then you're going to pull it down. You might have remembered from the video, if you're in fifth grade and are watching this video, you might remember that the Navajo weaver, how she used that tool to kind of push the string down. Okay, so let's check this pattern. You wanna check your work before you do a new row because if you make a mistake and you keep going, well then you have a lot of work to undo. So we have over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. I ended on an under, so when I come back, I'm going to start my new row with an over. And it's really important when you start a new row that you don't pull too tight. So. I ended with an under. Now I'm gonna start over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. And notice that's the opposite of what the first row was. Now I'm going to, just like I did on the first row, pull, 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 pull my yarn until it is snug but not too tight. So when I get to the end, I don't wanna pull it super tight because you can see what, what happens if I pull super tight is it pulls my warp strings in. I don't want that to happen. So I want it to be snug but not too tight. So I don't want my warp strings getting pulled over. This is a good tightness, but look at all that gap. So I'm gonna take my fingers and push that down before I start the next row. Now, this row ended on an under, so what should the next row begin with? That's right, I need to start it with an over. So I am going to go over now, over, under, and look at that. This row is over, so it makes sense that the next row would have to be under. Under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. And then pull, 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 pull. And you're just gonna keep doing that until you're done with whatever color you are using. So you have a choice. Oh, and look at this, that's too loose. That's too tight. I'm gonna pull it back just a little bit so that my warp strings should stay nice and tight. Because if I pull tight, what's gonna to happen to my weaving is as I go up the middle, it's gonna get 
sucked in like an hourglass and I want it to be straight. Push that row down. I ended on an under, so you guys already know it. My next row should be an over. You can choose to keep weaving that basic over under stitch with the color you already have on your needle. Or if you are like, you know what? I wanna do a pattern. I wanna have a line of blue and then I wanna have a line of green. Then I've got three lines of blue. If I, want, if I don't wanna keep going with blue, I can change my color. But if you like the color you've got and you wanna keep going, go for it. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to change color. So if you don't want to just do a bunch of rows of the same color, you can watch that video to see how to change.